Nightmare at 20,000 Feet is high on the list, if not at the top, of Twilight Zone episodes that have permeated the public consciousness. It's been parodied and referenced so many times that people who've never seen it are likely somewhat familiar with the premise or certain shots. I think it has to be between this, Time Enough at Last, Eye of the Beholder, and To Serve Man as the most popular installment of the series. What do you think? What's the most well-known of these episodes? Nightmare at 20,000 Feet follows Robert Wilson, a man on his way back from a six-month stay at a sanitarium after suffering a nervous breakdown. With his wife Julia, Bob boards a plane for the first time since his panic attack, which just so happened to take place on an airplane. The ride home to his family turns terrifying when Bob starts to see a figure on the wing of the plane. The creature floats away into the storm bearing down outside whenever anyone else peers out Bob's window. Considering Wilson's fragile mental state, Julia and the crew try to calm him down several times. However, convinced that what he's seeing is real, Bob decides to take matters into his own hands before the gremlin damages the plane's circuitry and causes a deadly crash. Everyone knows that little sequence. It's even a popular meme. When this first aired in 1963, it scared the bejesus out of kids. There are many stories of the nightmares this gremlin caused younger viewers. Seeing it now, the costume is pretty hilarious. It doesn't take away from the excellent suspense of the story, and William Tuttle's mask on actor Nick Cravat is distinct enough, but that big fursuit is a tad much. Writer Richard Matheson, adapting his own 1961 short story here, would say as much in later interviews. While he liked the performances and direction, he wasn't pleased with the look of the gremlin. The suit must have also weighed a ton after soaking in all that water. Credit to Cravat, who every source has cited as Burt Lancaster's aerobic partner, for taking on that difficult task. The difficult shoot of Nightmare at 20,000 Feet has been well documented. Legendary director Richard Donner helmed his first of six episodes and talked about this one in many interviews, calling it a big headache. The set was huge, with a full-size plane cabin and wing sitting over a large water tank to contain the rain effects. They had cravat on wires to pull him away whenever another passenger looked outside. The gremlin costume also came with special gripping shoes to help the actor keep his positioning on the slick metal. It's quite a bit of special effects work for an original Twilight Zone episode, but this was all well worth the effort. Donner, director of photography Robert W. Piddick, and the whole team made something that has absolutely stood the test of time. What's crazy to think about is how rushed the schedule became. Now, I've seen different numbers on this, but in more than one source, the production was said to have been crammed into just two days. Usually, principal photography lasted three days for a half-hour episode. But apparently, the set was already scheduled to be used by another production, and the crew were forced to stay overnight to finish shooting. They rolled until the sun came up, and somehow still captured thrilling material, including a fantastic performance from William Shatner. This was Shatner's second, last, and most famous Twilight Zone episode. His first was another high-quality Richard Matheson script, Season 2's Nick of Time. Outside of Captain Kirk and maybe... I don't know, T.J. Hooker? This has to be his most recognizable television appearance. All the subtleties in his expressions and delivery do a lot to raise the part. When he's going more over the top in his signature way, it's pretty appropriate for the material. Do I look insane? No, darling, no. Don't patronize me. I am not insane. One of my favorite bits is when he steals the gun. It's shot from a single low angle, and you can feel the character's anxiety jumping off the screen. Another is his conversation with the flight engineer. You mean you've seen him too? Of course we have. We don't want to frighten the passengers. You can understand that. Of course. Of... I understand. Now, the thing we've got to remember, you can stop now. Bob. Sir, get out of here. It's that look and total change in attitude that simply sells the moment. From there, Bob knows he's on his own. Christine White played Wilson's wife, Julia. She does well with her reactions to seeing her husband seemingly regress so soon after recovering from his mental health crisis. White appeared previously in the season two episode, The Prime Mover. Safe to say, this was by far her best episode. 
Nightmare at 20,000 Feet was adapted into one of the segments from 1983's Twilight Zone the movie, directed by George Miller and starring John Lithgow. That version of the story is much more manic and frantically paced. They also removed any direct mention of the main character's mental health issues and focused more on the severe anxiety and violent reaction he has to flying itself, among other changes, such as a more 80s looking gremlin. <laughs> Oh, and the 2019 incarnation of the show had an episode called Nightmare at 30,000 Feet, but there's little to no similarities outside the title. The Gremlin continues his attempt to damage the aircraft on the wing. After feigning the consumption of a heavy-duty sedative, Bob stealthily snags the pistol off a napping police officer. He wakes his wife to go fetch him some water and opens his emergency window hatch. Strapped in with his seatbelt, he's halfway pulled outside, where Wilson fires six shots at the approaching creature. The gremlin falls over dead as Bob screams for his life thousands of feet in the air. Soon after, we see that the plane landed safely and Bob is stretchered off. They all think he tried to commit suicide, but Wilson is content with his actions. Only he knows the danger everyone was really in. As they haul him away, a bent panel on the plane's wing displays just how close this flight was to disaster. Everything about this climax is awesome. How that window was popped off the side of the plane to Shatner hanging outside to those snap zooms and the storm itself. This is peak zonage, bro. Everything looks great and creates a truly exciting moment. While Wilson considers himself in the right for this supposed act of heroism, they do build a bit of doubt because of the nervous breakdown he just went through and the sleeping pill he took earlier. Maybe he was imagining everything, but by the last shot of that bent wing panel, we know what he saw actually did occur. Just the suggestion of uncertainty was a brilliant stroke by Matheson. Is this a recommendation? Uh, yeah, it might be the recommendation. It's well written, well shot, well acted with superb atmosphere and effects. It's also not devoid of that sense of cheesiness only this series could bring. But I'll warn you, after seeing it, you'll never look out an airplane window the same way again. Maybe you'll imagine a Bigfoot monkey thing staring back at you from the wing. Or maybe you'll gaze into the distance and see something peculiar in the clouds. A simple reflection of light or a portal to the Twilight Zone.